430, some of the same hands-on gadgets you might try to reduce stress. Well, they're helping students with learning disabilities. It's a local special education classroom that's now being, uh, that now has what's called a super sensory literacy space. And it's Oregon's first. Our Amy Frazier went to Rosa Parks Elementary in North Portland to find out more. And this could have a really big impact. Yeah, it was pretty neat to see. Students in this special education classroom are using squishy balls, silly putty, and even massage pillows to help them focus and learn. And it's something organizers would eventually like to see in all Oregon schools. She carries you to your room. Behind this book, here is a story for you, is a student proud to be succeeding. I like school. Fifth grader Fortune Gregory has ADHD. I use this when I'm testing. A super space tool that works for Fortune. Part of Rosa Park Elementary's new super sensory literacy space. Because I don't like just sitting there doing nothing. I like like moving stuff. It's one of many items. Squishy. Called fidgets. Soft. In the special space created by a Portland nonprofit called the Shadow Project. And you know, believe it or not, this little guy, this can help kids read. Here's how. Imagine you're a kid with ADHD and you're in a classroom and you're trying to read or pay attention to the teacher and listen to directions. And your body wants to go like this. Where is your energy going? She says that energy can be focused into learning with the help of fidgets and other sensory tools like this vibrating pillow as a calming technique. So like if I'm about to take a test, I grab this and then like I take a couple minutes for it to be on my back so I can calm down and then I still leave it on and while I'm taking the test. Education leaders say two-thirds of the state's third graders with learning disabilities like dyslexia, ADHD and autism do not meet reading benchmarks. And that's very disturbing because that can quadruple their risk of school dropout. The super sensory literacy space includes more than 200 books specially chosen to intrigue students along with an extensive audio library. When fortune grows up. I want to be a pediatrician. In the meantime, she's building confidence and a love for learning. And they tell me that eight more Portland schools will get more of these spaces next year. It's something they are really excited about. And I also spoke with one of the special education teachers who's in that classroom, and she said these fidgets really mm -hmm. make all the difference for the students. All of a sudden, they were staying in their seats mm -hmm. more, and they can kind of focus their, their energy into that space and, and kind of calm down. And I think we could all use those at work, <laughs> <laughs> don't you think? We've seen um, a technique where kids sit on one of those cushy balls. That's what I was and they they wiggle and they wiggle and they uh -huh. wiggle and doesn't make the seat creak and they can take out their energy there and they can focus. Yeah, they had a seat kind of like that okay. in in that space area. It was yellow and they just kind of sat and mm -hmm. went like that and you wow. know had a great conversation. And so. if they're already seeing a difference, maybe this is something we can follow up on and just see exactly how this is making a difference in a, a year or two. Yeah, absolutely. And again, they say they want to work with lawmakers to try and get this into yeah. into Oregon Good schools. Good point. Okay, Fascinating. Thank you.